Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it's been quite some time since I last did a sit down video. So I just wanted to film my current beauty and lifestyle favorites for you guys. Um, since you know that I just moved, I have a couple of I didn't want to show you everything because if I showed you everything this video would be a million years long but I did want to show you guys some key pieces that I have been loving as far as my lifestyle goes um, as far as beauty goes I do have a couple things that I just wanted to shout out um, but pretty much my routine when it comes to my makeup has been very very simple and it has pretty much stayed the same for a very long time um, so um, yeah let's just go ahead and jump right into this video so if you are interested in seeing what I have for my current favorites then just keep watching so if you can probably notice my hair is kind of doing its own thing um, I have been lately just washing it putting leave-in conditioner and kind of just letting it be I'm trying to avoid putting any heat to my hair right now um, because it just burns like the tips of my hair and it makes my um, ends split sorry if you hear Luna in the background she's currently has her neck inside my blinds Luna Luna I kind of just I'm letting my hair do its own thing just letting it be natural so that it becomes healthier um, I'm trying to avoid just using any hot tools and just letting it air dry just letting it do its own thing and honestly I'm actually kind of really liking it I've got like this lion-esque look going on um, every time I go to work with my hair like this everybody's like oh my god I love your hair and I'm like wow why it's it's crazy it's not really doing much um, but I wanted to shout out the leave-in conditioner that I've been using it is the L'Oreal L5 total repair 5 innovation Pro uh, protein recharge it's almond and protein and this has been amazing for my hair I literally um, put this in when my hair is damp and then um, I will go ahead and add some again just to style it while it's already dry and it's just it's been amazing I absolutely love it it's I, te I definitely feel like a difference in the texture of my hair um, I naturally have really curly hair and it's just kind of getting Getting back to its old roots because for the longest time for as long as I would apply heat to my hair my hair became very straight and just not it didn't look healthy um, so now that I just haven't been applying any heat not even blow drying I'm not even blow drying my hair at this point I've just like I said I'm just letting it be and it's kind of just doing its little own thing and it's looking a lot more natural and a lot more healthier i think so um yeah i'm kind of just i've never liked my hair to look like this i used to hate having curly hair and now i'm kind of just embracing it i'm just enjoying what it is because god gave me curly hair for a reason so i might as well figure out why and yeah i'm enjoying it like i said so um and i'm also trying to wear my hair down a lot more because for the most part literally five to six days a week i have my hair up either in a bun or in a ponytail and at this point my hairline it's not that it's receding or anything like that i think receding is the word receding receding i think i think that's the word um but it's not that that that's not what it's doing but i brush my hair back so much that my hair is naturally like brushing itself back and I'm trying not to do that so I'm just trying to wear it down as much as possible so yeah so I wanted to shout out this leave-in conditioner because it's been amazing it's 97% less breakage and 450 heat protectant because you can apply this before you apply heat to your hair but I haven't been doing that so I just leave it in my hair and let it do its own thing the next item I wanted to shout out is a beauty product and this is something that I've had in my collection for a really long time and I've never touched it up until this past month and it is amazing it is the Maybelline lemonade craze eyeshadow palette oh my god because it's been spring and we're going into summer soon I have been I'm like I said I've been keeping my makeup very simple I really don't do my eyes very much anymore I kind of just do like a very neutral I'll apply something in um, some browns or some like orangey tones into my crease and then I'll just like apply some like um, glow I guess you can call it into my like inner corners and like I'll apply some a little bit of you know colors here and there but I for the main reason why I never touched this palette even though I did buy it to want to try it out the only reason why I just never like mm, let me just grab it and start trying it now was because I always expected the same thing from these types of palettes was for it not to be pigmented and for the colors to be very dull so I was never in a rush I guess to try it because that's 
what was my mind my mind was already set to thinking it's not gonna be pigmented it's not gonna um, you know it's not gonna be anything amazing so I'm not in a rush to try it I've wasted about I don't even remember when this palette came out but I've had it for months months since last year I've had this in my collection never touched it up until this past month and oh my god do I regret waiting because this would have been my go-to palette for the longest time and now that it's um, you know spring going into summer these are the perfect colors for this season and it's completely up my alley I have been using um, oh the only thing with this palette is that the colors are a little bit dusty so there is some fallout that comes out of it however the colors are so pigmented I the first time I used it I dipped it in so many times and so much product got on my eyelids I'm like whoa that's way too much so I had to kind of go back erase everything and then start over um, so I've been using sweet tea which is this color here on my crease um, this one here I've been loving this one um, I've been liking to, I've been liking <laughs> I've been loving doing more like wet looks I like this like what I have going on in my face right now where I have like my nose super glowy I have my inner corner super glowy and I just like giving my eyes like a nice little wet look and this eyeshadow called sugar coated does that for my crease so I'll apply sweet tea right into my crease and then I'll go over it with some of um, sugar coated and it just gives me that perfect wet eyeshadow look and I've just been really liking that so um, that's what I've been doing and then I will go ahead with main squeeze is what I'm wearing right now in my inner corners and you guys look at that glow it's amazing so I've been loving that one and then I also have berry ice which is this like very pale um, very pretty pale pink I have this a little bit on my eyelid and although it doesn't make much of a difference that's what I like about it I know it's there but it's not like it's like it gives me more of like a pinky skin tone color than just like my bare skin um, so it doesn't make too much of a difference but it definitely gives it a little bit of something and then um, I also have Sherbet I think that's what, how you pronounce it um, Sherbet I have this color here on my brow bone um, on my brow bone I also did apply some of my highlight which I'm gonna talk about next but on top of my highlight I did put on that color so I've just been loving those colors and I cannot wait to you know play with it a little bit more and like dig into lemonade craze which is that yellow in this palette and I've been obsessed with the color yellow um, I am going on vacation in July and basically everything that I have in my I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek everything that I have in my forever 21 cart for clothes that I want to take to Puerto Rico is pretty much like a lot of yellows um, which I will be doing a entire vacation haul for you guys and I'm really excited about that video so definitely try and pick this up if it's still out there I will try and find it online link it down below for you guys but I am obsessed and this is like my go-to palette for sure this summer um, and it just has that again that beautiful spring summer look that we all need and want so the next item again another beauty product that i want to talk about it is my highlight that i am wearing today i have been using this highlight non-stop because it is just the perfect glow like again i've been loving the wet look like the wet face look and um i it's the highlight that i have on my nose i have it on my on my cheeks and i have it on my brow bones and it is the ofra highlighter in beverly hills oh my god you guys this was a gift from my sister and i I am so obsessed with these colors I will dig my um, brush into these colors here like this pink gold and like nudie color and I have been loving this um, and these here also I try not to use this one because it's a little too white for me um, but I've absolutely been loving every single other one of these and it just gives me that perfect like wet look um, I do tend to apply too much of this if that's even possible to apply too much highlighter um, but, but I will apply a ton and then like I'll just um, blend everything out with my dual fiber brush and it looks perfect and then I will go ahead go ahead and touch back up if I want more if I took off a little too much but this highlighter has been amazing and I've just been loving it it gives me the perfect look and even when I do a more bare face look this kind of just pulls everything together so I've been really loving this you guys already know I'm not even gonna talk about this too much because you guys already know that my favorite bronzer if you're new here my 
my favorite bronzer for as long as I can remember has always been the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer and this one is in light bronzer and I do need to pick up a new one because I think I've had this one for so long that like I'm not getting that pigmented color out of it anymore so I'm probably gonna go to like the deeper bronze one and I am just I I love this this bronzer is my favorite especially for you know summer spring um, it's definitely a bronzer that I use all year round but just for summer and spring it just gives me the perfect look that I'm looking for which is that like nice like very simple um, look so I really like it and for the most part if I don't wear a blush I at least will put on foundation concealer and some bronzer and I'll throw on a mascara and I'm basically ready to go out the door then I have three more beauty products to mention so I'm gonna talk about my lip products first and these are the two lip products that I have been combining and these are the only two lip products I have been using for months and months and months now and actually since Christmas because that's since before Christmas because that's when I got this specific lip gloss and it's the peppermint stick from philosophy and this one's in peppermint whisper fill the air I think it does this have a I think yeah I think it's just peppermint whispers fill the air peppermint stick so it's this lip gloss absolutely love this lip gloss I have never been a lip gloss like like I've never liked lip gloss I don't like the feel of lip gloss on my lips but this one has been a game changer for me and I actually looked up I use this so much that this one's like already starting to run out like I still have some but like I can already see like the empty spaces in it um, so I started looking up like how I can get this lip gloss and I actually found it on Amazon for like $25 and I'm like Ugh! $25 is a lot for lip gloss but it's so worth it that I am gonna spend like $50 and buy myself two as a backup because I just love it so much and I've never found a lip gloss that I love as much as this one so this one I highly highly recommend if you are not a lip gloss lover try this one out because it might change the game for you um, I use this one on its own but I also love to pair it with this um, chapstick and it's the Burt's Bees um, Chaps moisturizing lip balm in pomegranate and oh my god I love this chapstick it's been by far my favorite favorite chapstick I've ever used um, it's so soft on my lips I can, it's even weird to explain it because I have ex like severe dry lips and this just like it it's like butter on my lips and my lips have not been chapped in so long ever since I've been using these two things my lips have not cracked like it's it's been amazing and I haven't gone without my lips being cracked for this long of a period of time in such a long time so it's really nice that I finally found like a lip combo that works for me and it might not work for you guys but even like just for regular like if you want your lips to be soft oh my god just try this lip gloss you won't regret it but this moisturizer um, lip balm is amazing as well so I would highly recommend these two products and then for my last beauty favorite this is something I've also mentioned before in my um, channel and it is my go-to mascara for spring and summer especially for summer because it is a waterproof mascara and it's this Maybelline one and um, I believe this is called the cat eyes mascara I don't remember the exact name but the literally the whole packaging is like rubbed off like there is no name on it anymore um, but I do know it's from Maybelline I have purchased so many tubes of this in like the past like six years um, and I just love it it's perfect for if you're going to the beach if you're going to the pool if you want to just throw on for me I like to throw on a little bit of something on my face um, when I'm going to the beach or the pool um, I will throw on like some sunscreen I'll throw on a tinted moisturizer some mascara and I'm basically out the door that's pretty much what I do if I'm going to the pool or the beach and this has just been my absolute favorite I love this it's been my favorite for years and I just wanted to give it a shout out because it is you know spring going into summer so I had to mention it so moving into my lifestyle favorites this is something that I got for Christmas and I didn't think I would use it as much as I do but I do I love them so so much and it is my airpods I was never one that was like oh I need to get that as soon as it comes out like no it just never caught my attention up until like um, later on in the year last year so like I wanted them for Christmas um, because I just like the fact that they were wireless I didn't think that I would like them for the gym because I like wearing my beat headphones where they're like wrapped around my head if I'm running or if I'm doing like um, the Stairmaster or things like that they don't fall out of my ear so I thought that these would fall out of my ear and they do um, so I like to mainly use them when I'm driving that way I don't have to hold my phone so I switched my car to an SUV and the Bluetooth speaker 
is so far that people have a hard time hearing me um, because I'm so short. So I drive with my AirPods on so that way if somebody, if my mom calls me or something, I can just answer it and not have to pick it up with my phone um, in my hand. Like I try not to use my phone when I'm driving because it can be distracting. So I just leave it on the cup holder and just use my AirPods pretty much to call or I just use like the voice command in my car. But I also love to use this with my new laptop and it's been great if I'm watching any YouTube videos. Now when I edit videos, I can use these. These are just been amazing and they're just perfect. They're so tiny and they're just, it's it's been great having them. I highly recommend them if you're a person that, you know, likes to just not have any cables around if you're on the computer or on your iPad or on your phone and you're just watching YouTube videos, if you're watching Netflix, if you're listening to music, it's just perfect because you just don't have wires all over you and I love that. I think most of my headphones are pretty much wireless. I have my Beat headphones which are wireless. I have another pair of like um, string headphones. I think they're JBL headphones. Those are wireless and I pretty much only used wired headphones if I absolutely have to. If like all of my um, headphones are dead and don't have any battery, I just will use a, str a string one but for the most part I use these or my Beat headphones which I really like. And then for my next lifestyle favorite has been my planner. I, You guys know how much I love my planner and I am still using the Erin Condren planner. I love it, but I wanted to share my new cover with you guys. I did get this one which has like flamingos on it because I thought it was perfect for like the summertime. I have been switching out my covers. I had a Valentine's Day one with a heart in the middle. I had a St. Patrick's Day one with all the green clovers on it. I have the flower one which is the one that it came with, but then I switched over to summer and decided to get this one which has flamingos all over it and these are so great because they're so inexpensive these are like eight dollars um i've been loving this cover and then also just to show you guys i also have the a monthly bills tracker which is amazing absolutely love it it just helps me keep track of all of my bills what i've paid for this month and it's just been it's been great having this it definitely gives me like a nice overview of what I've paid and then um, my next favorite also is this little um, this little snap-in thingy it is a like a bookmark I use it as like my divider to know like so I can like quickly go to the day you know that week that we're in um, but this little checklist has like a type of top priorities section it has a habit section so if you you know you're trying to drink more water you can put drink water and then you can check mark how many bottles of water you have drank if you're trying to go to the gym you can check mark you know you can put gym and see like how many days of the week you've gone to the gym um, and then the back has like Monday through Sunday so you can put like if you're um, meal prepping or if, if you're you know for me for example if I want to plan out like what videos I want to post on YouTube I can do all of that on this little dashboard and it's nice because it gives me a quick a quick glance at that as well so um, yeah I've just been loving my planner and I'm still using it very much I literally use it every single day um, I write notes I'll write video ideas blog ideas things um, you know projects I want to work on goals I want to reach books I want to read classes I need to take just so so much goes into my planner so um, if you guys are interested in getting an Erin Condren planner I will have a link down below um, and yeah so I just again I had to mention this because it's been quite some time and I just want to let you guys know that I still very much use my Erin Condren planner for my next lifestyle favorites it's something that I've been using lately a lot and it's something I've been using in the kitchen so I recently joined Girl Collaborative and if you don't know who they are it is a um, online basically um, like a household you can get stuff for your pets for cleaning products they just have so so much stuff on there I pretty much order all of my cleaning products from Grove now and I started using it just to try it out and I fell in love with it so I paid the $20 to have the VIP membership for the year because you get free shipping um, and I've just been loving so much the products that I get from there specifically I wanted to mention these three because these are limited edition so um, it's like a part of their spring collection and it is the Mrs. Myers clean day mint scent and this is the multi surface cleaner I love this so much the scent is so amazing and literally I will clean all of my kitchen islands with this and this the scent of it just stays around the house 
for a long time i absolutely love this so much um also with this i've been loving the dish soap which i'm actually running out of and this dish soap dish soap is amazing it leaves my plates smelling amazing absolutely love it and of course also the hand soap is amazing so just these three things i have been loving so so much and um aside from the fact that it also matches with my kitchen decor it just smells amazing this is already like more than halfway gone and so is my dish soap so i know i definitely will be repurchasing these um but i've just been enjoying a lot of the grove collaborative uh, products that I've been getting on there and they are um, cheaper than getting them at the store but it's also nice and convenient that I could just have it delivered um, to my house so it's really nice but I just wanted to give these a shout out because I've been using these so much especially these two the hand soap I just use every time I'm in the kitchen like by the kitchen I need to wash my hands but these two I use them on a daily basis and it's been amazing I love it so the next lifestyle favorite I wanted to mention has to do with doing laundry and I have never been one to love doing laundry. I do not. Well, now I do, but I never liked doing laundry. It was such a hassle to me before and now cleaning and doing laundry is become has become more of a like relaxation thing for me. I love you know cleaning and doing laundry now and it just relaxes me it takes me away from like my thoughts and just it, it feels good to do it now and i've never felt that way about cleaning or laundry and now i've just been enjoying doing it and i also think it has to do because i've changed the way i've been doing laundry also i've um added some new things which i'm gonna talk about now and one of the things i've added is the downy unstoppables in wash scent boosters oh my god you guys this is my second tube of this the first one that i got was a blue bottle i forgot what that scent was but this one is in um lush it's like a lavender scent oh my god but it smells amazing i buy like the biggest bottle possible because it makes my clothes my sheets everything i wash smell amazing it really does give it that extra boost of scent and i've just been loving this so so much you can um if you want to try it out at the store i get these at target but if you want to um try it out at the store you can actually squeeze it at the top it has like little holes so you can just squeeze it and smell it so you can see what the scent tastes up uh, tastes like what the scent tastes like what what the scent smells like and it just it is amazing it's changed my laundry forever i will always continue to repurchase this because i just love it so much and then also with that i've also been using a fabric softener which i've never ever in how many years that i've been doing laundry since i was like 15 doing my own laundry i've always just used a detergent and that's it i call it a day and i have been using the seventh generation fabric softener i've never used fabric softener in my life i never even knew how to use fabric softener um and i've just been loving adding this to my sheets and my clothes it really does make everything feel a lot softer it gives it that soft texture my clothes doesn't come out like hard from the dryer it's just been nice um to add this to my um laundry routine and i just been really liking this i've also tried to stay away from anything that's like hard chemicals i've been trying to go a very natural route with everything in my life um and i've done i have done that with a lot of things um so adding this which is um 0% synthetic fragrances and dyes has been amazing and it is more natural and yeah and it's um this bottle even the bottle it's like 100% recycled bottle so it's really nice it makes me feel good that you know i'm somewhat helping with the environment i guess but yeah i've been loving doing laundry and adding these two things the scent boosters and this uh, fabric softener in my laundry routine so that is it that is everything for my favorites videos for this month um, this is everything that I've been loving just recently and in the past couple months that you guys haven't seen me do a sit down video um, as far as makeup goes like I said everything has been pretty much the same I really have been keeping my makeup very minimal I I've just been happier this way, I guess you could say. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you guys are notified every single time I upload a video. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.